there's been in this in the selection dialogue, there has long been this select color range option. And you can use this, say, to select you know, the blue of that door or the, uh, the red of this uh, fire engine or the yellow of the sign. And if you hold the shift key down, then you extend your selection. So if I want to get all the yellow in the image, then I can click on it like this. And it's, it's a great tool if you want to then change the color of, say, uh, a, a tram from the green one that goes along the uh, side of the Mississippi here to the red one that goes uptown. And you can then select all those colors and make the change quite easily. But if uh, you want to, uh, in this case, turn this image from a daytime scene into a nighttime scene, then as well as saying select colors, we can now do select highlights. And that selects all the highlights in this scene. So I'm going to hit OK. And they're all selected here. I'm going to inverse this selection. You can get that from the select menu near the top, but I happen to know that it's Shift Command I or Shift Control I on a PC. And what that allows me to do is I can make a new adjustment layer. So I'll go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and I'm going to use Curves in here. And because I had a selection active, Curves came out with that selection making a mask for me. So when I now click in the middle and drag down, you can see that I'm affecting everything except those highlight areas. So I can drag down to darken this up. Let's go into the uh, blue channel to put a little bit more blue back in there. And there you go. There's your instant uh, day for night look. And it's left all the highlighted areas alone, and it is only affecting the, the darkened areas. And of course, you can edit this. So with the mask selected, I can switch to the brush tool, and I uh, don't want these signs to be lit up, even though they happen to be uh, bright. So I can just paint over those in white, and then they're included in my selection area, same with the sign over the door, uh, certainly the edge of this curb. On the other hand, I think, well, we've got this light in the doorway, maybe we want some of that to spill out into the road. Uh, I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. I want to set the opacity to 30%. How do I do that? Three. Three. Good. And then I can just paint a little bit of light spilling out of this doorway onto the road surface. And because it's an adjustment layer, I can easily go back and turn it off. Or I can load the, the mask as a selection, Control or Command, and click in the mask. There we go. So now I want to inverse this selection to get all the highlight areas back. I can make a new curved adjustment. And this time, I can brighten up those highlights if I want to. Having made the selection to darken the background, you don't need to make that selection again. It's already there for you. Take the existing selection and inverse it, and then you can do your highlights.